Hello and welcome to this training session. My name is Ashraf Ayad and I'll be working with you today looking at the new Maya 2009 feature which is render passes. In particular we'll be looking at the pass contribution map. So the pass contribution map is a tool that is designed to allow you to determine which light or which objects that you want to contribute to to the final render pass. So for example looking at my image here I output the parts of the bike by itself so for example I have the body the engine the tires they can render out by, by themselves and for this example I took it out as a beauty pass you can do uh, mat or you can do spec per object and for uh, in here you can also output it per light so for example I had two lights in this scene I output light one diffuse light one spec and light two diffuse and light two spec by doing that you're opening a wide range of possibilities to control or to have better control f over your final image in the compositing phase. Alright, so we have lots of things to do, so let's get started. If we're looking at our scene here, we have this uh, bike sitting on the road and we have two major lights. One is uh, yellow and the other one is bluish. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to output these uh, parts of the bike by themselves in the pass contribution map, via pass a contribution map. So the first thing I'm going to do is to select the parts that I want to, to contribute in that particular uh, pass and I'm going to my render master render layer. I only have one render layer here. I'm going to right click and I say pass contribution map create and add selected and that will automatically create a pass contribution map for you and add the selected geometry to it. And let's call this tires. All right. You can also do a empty one. So this one for example doesn't have anything. And then select the body or the object that you want to contribute and right click and add selected objects. You you can double check that what you've done is by right clicking on the pass contribution map and say select objects in this pass and here it is. Let's do a last one for the tires uh, sorry we did the tires, let's do the engine now that's selected and this we call this the engine All right. you could have obviously done that via the render layers However, the benefit of using pass contribution map is will save you some render time. Let me explain this a little bit because when you're using render layers, let's say that you have five layers. What will happen is that the render engine will load the geometry in the first layer, render it, unload it, and then go to the second layer and repeat the same steps again. But when you do it in via one render layer in one pass or via the uh, pass contribution map, you are saving your t yourself the loading and unloading and that will eventually save you some render time so all of the, again to repeat what I've done I just added objects in these particular render, uh, pass contribution maps I'm just gonna go now to my passes section in my render layers I'm gonna choose which pass that I, I, I wanna output for example let's take beauty and matte here it is and let's give it a uh, suffix here for example uh, sorry not suffix prefix for the tires okay create let's do one for uh, the engine let's create and let's do another one for the body and hit create All right. so now I need to associate all these guys with the proper pass contribution map now once you created these pass contribution map in your master layer or your render layer you'll see them available for you in here so all I'm gonna do is just make sure that these two are going for the body same thing with the engine and the last is the tires once I'm done I'm just gonna hit close Pretty much I'm ready to render, so let's go ahead. Once the render is complete, we can go examine our files, and you'll notice here that it came out correctly as, as we expected. So we have the bike, beauty, and then the sorry, the bike body, and then the bike mat. 
and one benefit you will see it's you see the uh, the parts of the geometry that was not included in the render pass contribution map is not in and it holds it out so it's it's a very good way to composite let's look at the engine and the engine mat and the tires and the tires mat and you will notice you always output the master beauty because this is the one that's being calculated as the final image and the past contribution map all what they've done is just extracted the parts that was already rendered all right so let's do another one per light let's create the past contribution map per light now so we're just going to create two empty passes we call this light one and this one for light two and we add the objects that we want to contribute to this pass so this is for light one right click and add selected this is for light two right click and add selected a quick way to check is to right click on your pass contribution map and say select objects now we have light one and select objects and that will show us light two now I'm just ready to go to add my passes in here and let's take out uh, diffuse and spec here it is and this is for light one create and while they are selected I'm just gonna do light two create and close now this is per scene we want to associate it per layer and now since we have a pass contribution map we can associate it as well and for light 2 we want to go for light 2 so now we're ready to go just gonna hit close render batch render let's examine our images we have light 1 diffuse it was yellowish and of course the spec and light to diffuse it was bluish color and you can see here and the spec as well and remember we always have the master beauty comes out with us alright so everything came out as we expected and this is how we use the pass contribution map to output per light for this particular scene let's do one final example to output ambient occlusion passes via the pass contribution map so I'm just gonna create two empty maps here for this one we're gonna call it world and this one bike and we're gonna associate or add the world to this map and the bike to this one check make sure that they have everything correct everything seems to be in working order I'm gonna to go to my render settings in the, in the render passes and I'm gonna choose ambient occlusion and in the prefix I'm gonna say one for bike create and one for world create and close same thing that we've done before we associate them with this particular render layer and since we have past contribution map we're just gonna make sure that this one is going for the right one the world going for world and bike going for bike and since we are using ambient occlusion you wanna make sure that the ambient occlusion button is checked on in your in, uh, render settings under indirect lighting and here it is so all I'm gonna do now is hit render batch render let's have a quick look at our final result here is the bike ambient occlusion and the world ambient occlusion and you will notice that the bike cutout or the hold for the bike is there but you will notice as well that the bike occlusion is on the ground which is accurate for this particular layer if you however planning to output the street or the world just by itself for an ambient occlusion with no contribution from that bike you probably should have done it in the old-fashioned way where you add that street 
in a render layer by itself and output it that way. But with using the pass contribution map, as we said earlier, it will save you some render time, plus it will add a wider variety of options when you're rendering your final result, and this will help you in the final compositing phase of your render. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this session, and I will talk to you soon.